Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with Epic Games that says that a product activation failed. So if there's some sort of issue connecting to the Epic Games servers, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon. And you want to type in settings. Best result should go back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select network and internet on the left side here. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath advanced network settings near the bottom of this list. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you want to select underneath more settings. So you might have to scroll down perhaps. It should say network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Before you reset your network adapter, make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials handy. So you might want to go back to your router and actually take note of the username and password on the back of there so that when you enter in your credentials when you reset your computer you will need to enter them back in if you're using a Wi-Fi connection. If you're using an Ethernet connection you don't need to do that but anyway we're going to go ahead and select the reset now button. So are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. And now your computer will be restarted automatically within five minutes so go ahead and select close. Close out of any open programs and applications you may have and go ahead and restart your computer. And there we go, guys. Simple as that. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.